Hey Deckers, I've got a new Xbox Remote Play app for you, and this one also works off your network. Yes, it works over mobile data, however, there is a cost. It will cost you around £5 or $5, but I do think it's well worth it. So if that's too much, then maybe stick around and see if you will change your mind. If not, hit the like below and see you in the next one. Okay, let's dive into what this is and how to get it set up. First, we need to switch over to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. We want to open up the Discover Store. In the Discover Store, search for XB Play. Once you've found that, hit the Install button and wait for it to finish. Once it's finished, launch the app and you'll see a new icon. And you'll get a bit of a warning saying that this is best working in gaming mode, but would you like to add the app to your Steam library? Yes, you do, as this will save you the process later on. However, it won't show up until you restart Steam, so just bear that in mind. And then you have the options here for remote play, cloud play, or just to be using as a gamepad. And you can even customize all the touch layout, etc., which I'm not going to go hugely into, but I will touch upon it. Hit the login button below and sign in with your Xbox account. If you get it to remember, this makes life a lot easier. And also you want to tick the auto login on startup at the bottom of the home screen. So the first time I did this, I had an issue where it would not find my Xbox at home. And it turns out that for some reason, remote play actually got turned off. So if you see this error, then you probably need to go and configure your Xbox for remote play. Not a problem, let's talk you through that. So you can switch back to game mode on your Steam Deck. And while that's happening, you can switch over to your Xbox. So on your Xbox, you want to go into the settings then under general, you want to go to network settings. And in here, there should be a option to say test remote play. Just hit this and it will run through a bunch of checks. And if it was already enabled, you will just get no extra options like this. And it'll tell you that everything's okay, may give you a Wi-Fi warning. But you can also go into the main settings, go down to devices and connections, and go to remote features. And this will tell you whether everything was enabled. So if I just disable this just to show you the difference, if I now go and do that test remote play after around a minute or so. It will say that everything's good to go and you can just hit enable remote play from here and then everything's set up. Now I do advise after setting this up to restart your Xbox just to make sure that everything is in place on your network as well. And for the first time, leave your account logged in on the home screen just to make sure that it gets picked up on the other side. Once you've done that, if you go back to your XB play app in either game mode or desktop, and hit the login button again. If you've got all that auto sign in, it should just run through the motions again. It always pops up the xCloud window annoyingly, but now you can see that it picked up my Xbox Series X. Now, if I hit that Xbox Remote Play option at the top, it will connect to my Xbox. By default, this is designed for touchscreen on mobile devices, so you will have an overlay of the menus. And if you hit these dot menu over on the right hand side, you can change the settings. On these settings, there is a couple of tweaks that you want to make. You do want the touchscreen controls to show up for some of the extra menu functionality. So just change this to hide after 10 seconds of no screen touches. And as soon as you've been on your Steam Deck just for a few seconds after startup, then it will just disappear. You can tweak the video settings and the performance settings if you wish, but I found that out of the box, this was actually set up very well. So you can leave those pretty much by default. There was also a nice little troubleshooting guide in here if you are having issues. So I did connect to my Xbox and I ran Gears 5 as I was testing this recently on some 4K capture. And you can see that running this remotely using my Steam Deck as the controller, and this was an absolute flawless experience for us until this happened. So as I said before, it is a paid app. You'll get around five minutes in either the remote play or in the xCloud before you will get this warning. It just disconnects you and pops this up. You will need to use an iOS device or an Android device and go to the store and search for XB Play. And the bonus of this is you will be able to use this app on obviously your phone and other ecosystem devices, as well as your Steam Deck later on. Once you've downloaded the app, Open it up, log into your Xbox account, 
and then in the side menu, go into the settings and scroll down to the option to remove adverts. Perform the in-app purchase to remove ads, which is the five pounds that I told you before in the UK. So this should be around $5 or five euros. And once that's done, you'll get the purchase all set. You do need to connect from your device to your Xbox or run an Xbox Cloud Gaming session for this to sync across to the other devices. So just either connect to your Xbox from here or run a Xbox Cloud Gaming session. I just connected to my Xbox and then just quit out. You can see the touchscreen controls working very nicely there as well. And then when I went back to my Steam Deck, because I actually had the free trial still up, it disappeared on its own, saying that the trial had ended. And you can see that I no longer have the unlock button down in the bottom right, so I'm never going to get those adverts again. Now you can remote play or cloud remote play to your heart's content with no issues. Now I mentioned before that this is available off the network, so I did disconnect and set my phone up as a hotspot to verify this worked. Once connected to my phone, I ran this up on Steam Deck once again. However, I was unable to connect to my Xbox at first, even though it was still showing up. I kept getting an error after around 30 seconds of it trying to connect, saying I should check my network and open up some ports if I've got IPv4. And if you've got IPv6, then it should work already. But if you've only got IPv4, then you need to forward the TCP and UDP ports of 9002 and obviously make sure that you've got remote play set up completely. I did go and open up these ports on my firewall and forward them to my Xbox. Once I did that, I did have to reboot the Xbox again for some reason. It didn't take effect. But after opening up the ports and rebooting my Xbox, I was able to play via my mobile data connection. I was playing, the quality wasn't quite as good. I don't think my data connection was as stable as I hoped it was, but I did while playing just dip out to the menu screen so that you can see that this is still connected to the mobile hotspot. It does also support Xbox Cloud Streaming from the app, however the layout is a bit odd. It just lists all of the titles in A to Z with their kind of main windows. No real info, and you just get the option to play or add it to Steam for quick access from this menu. However, it does work perfectly fine if you do decide to stream it. You can see here Atomic Heart, this was the xCloud version, and I had no issues at all with any input latency or anything else. I would still say that if you're going to use Xbox Cloud Gaming on your Steam Deck, then the browser method is probably still better. But if you want to do it all from one place, then it's still good to have it in the app. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be using this method from now on, and we'll see you in the next one.